Dallas police announced a big break in their uh, pursuit of violent robbers who were on sprees hitting hotels, apartments, and homes in North Dallas. Early this morning, police responded to two more robberies at Dallas hotels. They chased the suspects into Richardson and arrested a man and a woman. Dallas police say the man confessed to his role in five other robberies over the last three days. Fox 4's Deanna Zoga live at the Dallas County Jail, a familiar place apparently for one of those two suspects. Deanna. Steve, yeah, one of those suspects is named Joshua Weston, and according to arrest records that we found, he was in jail here, or he is in jail here tonight for the second time in less than a month. He was out on bond at the time of the robberies earlier this week when police say he was holding up hotel clerks and random people outside of their homes. The youngest victim that we're aware of is a high school student who says he was attacked while getting a backpack out of his car. I thought it was going to be the last time I was going to be alive. Just steps from the front door of his home, the 16 year old describes an ambush. Two guys grab him in the parking lot of his apartment complex and put a gun to his head. If I don't give him what he wants, he's going, he's going to shoot the guy and kill me. The one with the gun pistol whips the teen and the gun goes off. From that point, I was just scared for my life. You know, I, I was 16 and coming back home from work and I didn't expect that to happen. We're not showing his face, but with permission from his mother, he offers insight into the frantic and reckless M.O we've seen and heard before. And all of a sudden, there's two guys next to us. Didn't even see them get out, and I was watching every single wind, every single one of the uh, mirrors because they just wanted anything quick, any cash. Last night, we told you about another victim whose husband was pistol whipped after pulling into their apartment complex. Since Monday morning, Dallas police note eight robberies tied to the same group of suspects. Out of the three men police were looking for, one is in custody. Police say he admitted to five of the previous robberies and this morning's crime spree. 31 year old Joshua Wesson was arrested after a short chase early Wednesday. A woman was with him. Police say Erica Bonner was driving and surrendered after the chase. I work for what I have. News of the arrest came as a relief to the young teen who had to spend more hard earned money to replace what was stolen, though he still has his life. I was just mostly thinking about my family, my little sisters, how I might have left them behind. The teen was checked out by an ambulance. He had a cut to his head. He had some scratches, but he is uh, okay. The robbers took a wallet, uh, some cash, $7 to be exact, and his car keys. And not the car, just, just the car keys before letting him go. He says the guys who robbed him were in a dark Chevy Tahoe that is similar to the description that some other victims gave earlier this week. And it looks like police are still looking for two more suspects and that same Tahoe. Back to you, Steve. Okay, Deanna, so uh, this, this guy, Wesson, confessed to five previous, and I, I assume he acknowledged his involvement after the chase this morning on, on the two, so that's seven. But he was out of jail on bond for another case. What do we know about that case? What was he in jail? What did he bond out on? What charge? Robbery again or what? No, it, it was not a robbery based on, on some records that, that we found. It, it, it's an unrelated case. Uh, Joshua Douglas West with the same birth date. Uh, he was out on bond after a New Year's Day arrest in, in Dallas. Uh, according to an arrest warrant affidavit filed in that case, Wesson was accused of beating a woman that he knew. And when she tried to get away in a car, she told police that he pulled a gun and fired into it. The bullets did not penetrate the, the cab of the vehicle, so the people inside were not shot. They were simply cut by broken glass. But those that's that's the charge that he's accused of in a separate unrelated case. And according to records, it looks like he bonded out of here on that charge on January 15th. So less than three weeks ago. Back to you. Okay. Deanna Zogo at the jail. Thanks.